Hey everybody, Chris Hicks here from the Marshall Tucker Band in beautiful Rose Hill Cemetery, Macon, Georgia. We're here today at the graves of Barry Oakley, Dwayne Allman, Greg Allman, and Butch Trucks, four original members of the Allman Brothers Band. And they rest peacefully, we hope, here in Macon, Georgia at Rose Hill. Lots of people come by and pay their respects, show their love, and sometimes leave little little mementos and notes and things like that. And that's pretty inspiring. After all these years, these guys inspire that much love out of people. I think they're glad to know that. Located between downtown Macon and the Oak Movie River, Rose Hill Cemetery served as a hangout for the original members of the Allman Brothers Band. In addition to being the final resting place for Dwayne Allman, Barry Oakley, Butch Trucks, and Greg Allman. Rose Hill is also where Capricorn Records founder Phil Walden is buried. Rose Hill served as an inspiration for some of the Allman Brothers' best known songs. Here we are at Elizabeth Reed's grave in Rose Hill Cemetery, now town Macon, Georgia. However, there is some doubt about one song's inspiration. Here we are in beautiful Rose Hill Cemetery in front of the little Martha statue with the Rex Arama. He's going to tell you all about it. Hey, y'all. Uh, I like doing tours of Rose Hill and this little Martha statue, uh, what I understand is the biggest urban myth of, of any rock and roll that I know of, because it's, uh, it's not about little Martha song that Dwayne wrote. Uh, Dickie has been quoted as saying, Dwayne would have never wrote a song about some long passed away little girl from, from, from yesteryear. And it's about Dwayne's last uh, girlfriend, Dixie Meadows, who affectionately called her little Martha Washington. So that's where little Martha comes from, not from this poor little girl that died when she was young. Know, the Georgia Allman Brothers Band Association has generously contributed several memorial plaques for deceased members of the Allman Brothers and their road crew. The picturesque Rose Hill has been around since 1840 and is still a favorite spot for bands to hang out and to be photographed. Sitting on the stone wall, right next to where Government Mule and Leonard Skinner took their picture. How about that? And uh, famous spots in Rose Hill, there's two of them right there. Well, three of them now. 